guys, welcome back to another video. In today's episode, we'll be playing some more Red Dead Redemption. And in this episode, we'll be doing... Let's take a look. A Harold McDougal mission. Okay, um, can't pronounce the names as usual, but whatever. Let's go over to the mission right now. And hopefully... Yes, I can do it. Alright. Marston, sir! It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to sate both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Follow me. I asked the stars to bring the horses around front. Okay, Wait, so I've got to follow him right now. So yeah, um, I think I need to get onto my horse, but I think we're both getting on one. Oh, there we are. So he's getting on my horse. I know he isn't. We're just gonna follow this group right here. Research. What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Oh. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what can Conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. I'm actually a little nervous, I have to say. <laughs> a touch of the old jitters. No kid. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. Especially you, Nastas. You really have made remarkable progress in the short time I've known you. I'm glad you have found it useful. I've always been a little afraid of savages, if I'm honest. But your mask... Yeah! It's a bear! Oh, we've got a bear. Um, we need to kill it. Crazy! What's wrong with you? There we are. They put enough lead into it. Thank heavens! Now let's get out of here! Come on! My goodness, I'm still shaking! What a ferocious animal! That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. All very well for you to say, but perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals, but I, sir. So here we are. I'll send you to Stay close, Mr. Marston. I'm a little out of my comfort zone. So we just gotta follow him to the cabin. Which I don't know where it is, but whatever. Ah, so it's right here. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, but I... Well, violence isn't the answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! 
We come in peace. What does he say, Sebastian? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn it, Dutch! Professor, get down now! They the wow, they just killed Duke. If you don't okay. stop that, you ain't gonna live! This is a nightmare! Do something quick! Stay down and keep quiet! I can't wait! You boys don't frighten me much! You won't leave me alone in here, will you? Okay, so I'll be using the bolt actually. Yeah. Alright, so we got a mount on the now. But I say we get the hell out of here. I know I had loot in the bodies because I can't be bothered to do so yeah. or whatever. Alright, gotta go back to Blackwater. We should move quickly! There's plenty more where they came My from! My god, I feel terrible! My head is pounding! Getting shot at will do that to you! I'm completely drained! It's like my body has aged ten years! Stop moaning and ride! You're alive, ain't you? This can't be Ooh. happening! Not There's again. some behind us. Killing some characters in this game. Oh my God, and by the way, spoiler alert, but the ending is sad. You really want to die? I need to take out the gang members. One last one. There we are, ain't getting away from me. of my life. I wish I could say the same. Blackwater. Oh, I will never talk ill of you again. Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. God, Something to clear the mind went and through. restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on Shooting sleeping all those Mexicans then? Sleep? Back in my Mexico. dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. And sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. Okay, so that's the end of today's episode. So I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye.